guys, I am back for another very illuminating video. So what we have here is a very, very profound video. Um, the knowledge that is inside this video is everything that I've been talking about. When I mention the fact that our language is the most important thing that we can have, it is a very powerful tool. And this tool has been usurped and mangled with spelling and writing and creating things that are discordant and disharmonic in our lives, but we have not known this until now. With all of the evidence now at our fingertips and on for our viewing pleasure, we are now discovering the keys to the universe, finding out the truths of our reality. There is a video that's called uh, Nikola Tesla, The Spirit of God is Not What You Think. This is the full explanation. Now, this guy's voice is a bit overpowering for some people. It uh, can cause a lot of anxiety the way he speaks. It's almost like he doesn't have an, a microphone, a proper microphone or something. I don't know why he sounds like he's yelling throughout the video. So I figured what I would do is promote this video by putting it on my page for everyone to look at and also just redubbing it for people's pleasure because it is a little bit extreme the way he talks it doesn't bother me because i i don't get triggered like that but there are some people that have left comments in the description box on this video that they are a little upset you know that the guy is yelling at them so i figured i would just read the subtitles for people and um provide the information that is most profound for those people seeking divine knowledge and to know your true power, I do suggest watching this video. So without further ado, here we go. If humanity only knew the power of the three, six, and nines, it would be a completely different universe. This is the power of the three, sixes, and nines. And it wasn't just Tesla. Pythagoras, Vitruvius, Aristotle, Plato all talked about the three, sixes, and nines. And eights. Now what I'm about to tell you, I'm now writing up. It hasn't been released yet. You're the first audience in the world to hear about it. You are a digital mathematical biopolygraphic precipitation because the kingdom of heaven in the religious world in the theological realm is the musical mathematical matrix that's right here right now it's precipitating crystallizing miraculously manifesting you right here right now it's running through you you're in it without it you'd not even be aware of anything you'd not be here we would not see you now what's a matrix webster's defined matrix as something within or something for which something else happens it's not just a hollywood film a rectangular array of numbers, algebraic symbols, and mathematical functions. Matrices play intimate roles in every aspect of life. The word is found several times in the Bible in Exodus and in Numbers, everything that opens up the matrix. You never heard these terms. Why did da Vinci write backwards? The same reason that the global industrialists back in the 1400s when da Vinci was starting to do his work decided that they were going to change the new world language to create a new world order. You've got to have a new world language. Let's call it English. And so I'm going to be sharing with you the real da Vinci Code. The real da Vinci Code deals with the musical mathematical matrix of the universe. Stop everything you're doing and watch this. It could change your life forever. This is Dr. Leonard Horowitz. You're looking at a da Vinci drawing that you will not find in the complete works of Leonardo da Vinci. This is a picture that Leonardo da Vinci drew that's been suppressed because it speaks the truth of what's taking place in the world. And you'll realize that it's not changed since the time of da Vinci late for. 1800s. Reality is that da Vinci drew exactly what was taking place on the planet. You have a division between the religious world and the political world. You've got a manipulation of the population that is currently engaging the gross deception, this thing that we call physical reality. And in essence, you have the pagan bull, a symbol of Baal, the symbol for a fertility god, which currently represents the symbol of the Roman Catholic Church. And that image is seen carrying the tree of life across the stormy oceans controlled by the royalty of Europe, who stand in the crest eagle all over the planet. One of the beautiful things that we've discovered in decrypting the real Da Vinci Code is that there is a musical note, a tone frequency called 440 hertz tuning. That is the standard tuning. When you turn on your radio, you listen to any music from rap to rock and roll to classical. You're listening to it played in 440 hertz. Well, 
where that source is from back in 1918, the Rockefeller family and the Rockefeller Foundation funding the arts paid for the American Federation of Musicians to institute 440 tuning. It was not very successful. The world's leading musicians screamed, saying, how can you do that? We have Baroque music. We all have these wonderful music played in different tunings. Well, they didn't have a good time of it. So they gave it over to a publicist, a propaganda minister by the name of Joseph Goebbels, propaganda minister of the Third Reich. And so that propaganda administered by Goebbels eventually got the world to literally create the standard tuning of 440, which, if you understand bioenergy and you understand biophysics, it puts a resonant frequency block from here down. So if you're wondering why the world today has gone literally egoic into paganism, honoring the false gods of medicine, of science, the false gods of popping magic pills to cure every ill, you realize that all of this egocentrism that cuts the heart off has been primarily done by the changing of the frequencies by which we literally thrive. And so I'm going to be sharing with you the real Da Vinci Code. The real Da Vinci Code deals with the musical mathematical matrix of the universe. The real Da Vinci Code deals with water and water science and hydro science how it all is coming out of water. In essence, it explains why I'm going to give you the best definition of who you are. You are a digital, that's mathematical, bioholographic biology. Holograms, you know what a hologram is, right? A digital bioholographic precipitation, like a little nidus in the cloud, suddenly begins to precipitate into a drop of rain and drops and falls to earth. That's precipitation. A digital bioholographic precipitation. Crystallization, water, 80% of your Holy Spirit-filled temples full with water is a tetrahedron structure. It's a liquid crystal superconductor. So you're a digital bioholographic precipitation crystallization miraculously manifesting into divine energy vibration coming out of water. Now this is another Da Vinci drawing. It's of a Moses looking character. He called it man of water. Moses' name means from Hebrew translated into English, saved by the water. And that here you see Moses' staff is stuck down in the water watching the swirling that da Vinci is studying, the science of the swirling water. And it's the same science that deals with the world's leading today mathematicians and physicists who have identified literally the cosmic frequencies and literally the sound of creation. And the sound of creation happens to be nine core creative frequencies. There's only nine numbers in the universe. In fact, it's even more simpler than that. Creator said, that I'm going to take the nine core creative frequencies and they're all going to be based on three numbers, three, six, and nine that Nikola Tesla taught his students, Royal Raymond Reif and John Keeley. If humanity only knew the power of the three sixes and nines, you'd be a completely different universe. This is the power of the three sixes and nines. What you're looking at is in Marco Roden's work. It starts where you see, let's say you start at one, and you go one plus one equals two, double the number two plus two equals four. You draw a line from two to four, four plus four equals eight, eight plus eight equals 16, where one plus six equals seven. That's what you do in ancient mystery school Pythagorean math. You'd reduce the multiple digits into the single digit integer. That's your nine core creative frequencies. That's essentially there's nine numbers in the universe. That's all. 10 is a man-made concept. Zeros are placeholders in the decimal system. It's not of God. It's not in God's language. We're talking about the language of creation, the language of the creator, or what the Bible talks about in the beginning. And then in the beginning, there was a creator. There was the water. Even before there was the word, even before the Holy Spirit's mentioned in the Bible, you have the water. Go back, study Genesis 1 through 6. You can see that I'm telling you the truth. So that the water is part of the triune God, literally. Even when you go in depth Bible study. Even in the Christian community, the scholars will tell you that's the truth. Everybody else is operating in gross deception. If they think that there's not the case, then pantheism, they say, oh, Dr. Horowitz, and all these others are out there saying, oh, God is in everything. Oh, gee whiz. Everything is made of God's footprint or signature. And that's what this is. It's Rodin's infinity pattern. He likens it to God's signature on everything. What are we talking about? Nothing new. In the old days, it was called polymath. Its source is from the Greek word poly. Poly meaning much great in quantity or maths meaning learning. So a person who excels in multiple fields, particularly the arts and science, is also called a renaissance man, is a master of polymath. I know most of you hate math, and I know most of you didn't do well in math because that's man's math. God's math is simple. 
It doesn't lose everybody. So da Vinci is seen as an epitome of the Renaissance man. He was a master of polymath. And you look at the ancient understanding. These definitions come from Webster's Dictionary, and you never heard these terms. So polyhistor is a synonym for polymath. In fact, history in mind and math mean the same. Imagine that history is related to math. They mean the same. Everything sources from math. The creative language is math. If the spoken word goes into the water, into actually the firmament, remember Genesis 1-2 says, in the beginning it was the creator. Then the spirit of the creator hovered over the face of the water and divided the water from the water to create the firmament or the dome. Some Bibles say the ether, and then that's akin to into physics, the quantum field. Into that quantum field, the word was spoken. But what is sound? Electromagnetic frequencies. And what's that? simple math. So these are the electromagnetic frequencies of creation that the creator has blessed us because he loves us. He, she loves us. And there's a covenant. There's a contract. The covenant says that the creator will always be there for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for all the children, all the 144,000 tribes of all the people who love the creator and faith and understand the creative technology of prayer and the lips, the creative instruments. Because you're created in the image of the creator, then guess what? The creator creates with the spoken word with love and the heartfelt loving intention to create and joy, a blessing that can go off and be creative. Then guess what? You are able to do this just the same. The lips and prayer is the creative technology, and the heartfelt loving intention comes because of the key that opens the door of faith. You have got to have faith. Philomath, lover of learning. Plato and Aristotle define mathema as relative to disciplina or discipline. Doctrina, learning the fundamental laws governing everything. So now these philosophers and their many disciples consider mathema in terms of education, which includes arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, music, and language that I'm speaking of right now. English is a mathematical creative technology that is the maximum dumbing down technology ever invented. I'll show you why in a couple of minutes. So da Vinci said that, this is a quote from da Vinci, there's no certainty where one cannot apply any of the mathematical sciences and the road to finding oneself including your highest qualities and creative potentials is paved by mystery school math engaging the matrix now what's a matrix webster's define matrix as something within or something from which something else can originate it's not just a Hollywood film. A rectangular array of numbers, algebraic symbols, or mathematical functions. Ma matrices play intimate roles in every aspect of life. The word is found several times in the Bible, Exodus, and Numbers. Moses made a sacrifice to the Lord. Everything that opened up the matrix that was done so, so the Hebrews could be freed. Today, we're enslaved, which every which way possible. Profiteering off humanity's ignorance and suffering is the game plan. So how do you come out of her, my people, lest he be infected by her plagues, her lunacy, her hypocrisy? How how do you do that? Real simple. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, then all else comes to you. How come? Because the kingdom of heaven in the religious world, in the theological realm, is the musical mathematical matrix that's right here, right now. It's precipitating, crystallizing, miraculously manifesting you right here, right now. It's running through you. You're in it. Without it, you'd not even be aware of anything. You'd not be here. We would not see you. Why did da Vinci write backwards? The same reason that the global industrialists back in the 1400s when da Vinci was starting to do his work decided that they were going to change the new world language. To create a new world order, you've got to have a new world language. Let's call it English. Let's get the King James Bible in English. When? Same time, late 1400 began. 1500, done. King James and his boys, Sir Francis Bacon, alias William Shakespeare, Shakespearean plays were like the media of today. The theater was the media and the message was in English. And now let's take a look. Da Vinci wrote backwards because what they did is they flipped the alphanumerical. I just told you that everything in creation is math. The lips are the creative instruments. So now if you're going to take the creative language and the creative instruments and you're going to speak English, here's what happens. And by the way, those revelations came out in 1998 with the healing codes for the biological apocalypse. If you're just beginning in this kind of initiation into reality to the truth, that shall set you free. You might want to start with the healing codes for the biological apocalypse and then graduate to where we are now at the real Da Vinci Code. So Dr. Paleo back in 1996 had a couple of visions. He saw numbers and letters on his windshield and he learned that there's an alphanumeric for every letter, just like gematria for every letter. There's a number, an alphanumeric relationship. And that and that he took the words, the English language, like you see here, A to Z, 1 to 26. So it's 1 through 9, 1 through 9, 1 through 8. 
You see that? Now, if you take the words faith, trust in God. Oh, isn't that interesting? They're all eight, the infinity sign. So when then you do is you take the number eight. And in the Bible, the creator never adds, never subtracts. It always multiplies. This acceleration of your divine inspiration and your spiritual evolution is exponentially accelerating because it's multiplying. And so you take the number eight and do multiples of eight. One times eight is eight. Two times eight is 16, where one plus six is seven. Three times eight is 24. Two plus four is six. Four times eight is 32, or three plus two is five. Do you see the countdown pattern, right? So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, six, seven. See it? Which is the what? The English alphabet backwards. So the sacred languages of Hebrew, ancient Aramaic, Babylonian, and Sanskrit were sacred. They were considered sacred languages. Why? Because when you spoke them, the resonant energy had an immediate divine intercommunication, communion, and a divine interpersonal connection. You had this heartfelt, loving understanding. So now you take interesting things. Take the English alphabet backwards. Add it to the English alphabet forwards. 8 plus 1 is 9. 7 plus 2 is 9. 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. It's always 9. What does that tell you? It means that there's a perfection in the English language. That means that it was all designed. It didn't happen by chance. Some genius did it. And they did it to have an exact impact that I'm telling you. To dumb you down maximally. To make you think that you're simply a human being when in fact you're a superhuman being. Now take the multiples of 3, 6, and 9. And you see why Tesla said it wasn't just Tesla. Pythagoras, Vitruvius, Aristotle, Plato. All talked about the 3, 6, 9, and 8. So they're very special. All multiples of 3, 6, and 9 will always give you a 3, 6, and 9. So when you now have the revelation of the original musical scale, the core creative frequencies of reality, you realize they are 369, 417, 528, 639, and 741, and 852. That is all, 366 and 9. When you do the Pythagorean mathematical conversion, wrote in the first mathematical genius, and I'm humbled and privileged to work with the world's leading physicists and mathematicians right now who have advanced so many wonderful blessings of revelation regarding 528 hertz frequency frequency of love and all of these numbers and what they really mean and how they fit with sacred geometry and cosmology. Everything in the universe now we understand is based on this system. And Rodin was the first one that I met. I had never known him before. He was invited to do a presentation. I was sitting in a living room in Hawaii and Rodin was there presenting with other physicists and mathematicians. And he started to put these numbers of his matrix that he came up with from this simple array. He starts right here, real simple. And then he goes into a more complex analysis where he creates the matrix of the universe and he put them on the board and I'm looking holy smoke this guy's putting up the sulfagia frequencies 3961417 repeating in a matrix and from this simple work he developed a more complex toroid structure of the universe so this is a rodent's toroid now sitting in the audience is a fellow who you should definitely get to know his name is Nassim Haramin he's a metaphysical physicist who took Einstein's field equations and factored in torque spin and velocity and advanced Einstein's work dramatically to come up with his structure of the universe. I'll show you in a second. He said to Marco Rodin, he said, Marco, I appreciate your work. He says, but you don't have it quite right. You forgot polarity. What goes up must come down. There's a positive, there's a negative. He says, it's not just a single toroid. The real structure of the universe is a double toroid. Now, Haramin's work shows you that the structure of the universe is a figure eight. And if you see his animation, it's spinning. You see it has a spinning spiraling and coming back to the beginning, just like a figure eight does now. You have just learned how that what comes around goes around. You just learn as you sow, you shall reap. You just learn that paying it forward is a great blessing to you. You just learn that giving is receiving. You just got shifted out of this whole ignorance, this paradigm of scarcity, consciousness into the great abundance, the way the world really works. So Hartman Mueller, Russia's top space-time science physicist, concurs. He basically evaluated the structure of the standing gravitational wave of the universe. And he said, you know what this looks like here exactly on the cosmic level it reflects the microscopic level of dna so now you play with this as i did he said that there is six nodes you see on the lower left side of the chart it says n6 his thesis advanced that there are nodes which physical reality manifests doesn't happen everywhere along the wave it happens in certain spots where the energy just at the center of the figure eight bingo there's a unique spot one spot where the energy vectors cross right there is a node 
and he says in the grand standing wave of the universe there's six places that actually physical reality manifests within the wave he calls it the n6 now what does the bible tell you how many days the creator create the universe in six the universe spiraling spinning is the same reason why your dna and now you see now the structure of your dna there's marco roden's infinity pattern in every single gene sequence the structure of your dna which is an antenna to the creator the primary function of dna served by water is to receive and transmit energy signals photons of light photons of sound and the water itself is all in the matrix of dna in and around dna is water what kind of water structured water so here is ron sackley from the journal of science back in 1996 telling the whole scientific community hey guess what happens folks your energy from your dna if you don't have water structured water that six-sided hexagonal shaped structured water if you remove as little eight as eight percent what you get is this these are the same dna strands that have lost eight percent of their water it unravels and unfolds and if you understand the energy dynamics of it, you see that electromagnetic potential drops dramatically. So that this connection between you and the creator, and if you want to really do what the highest holy persons in this planet really do in the commune with the creator, you have to understand the divinity of water and the capacity of water to serve you maximally everything in healthcare. You can go out and buy every great machine that's out there. You can go out there and buy every great product that's out there. And if you're dehydrated, you're not going to have any blessing. If you have a pH of body chemistry, pH parts, hydrogen, power of hydrogen, what's the power in hydrogen? Electron donation. Every energy in the universe, every movement from the blinking of your eyes to the movement of your lips right now is because of electron flow. The universe is piezoelectric. Current piezoelectricity oxidative reductive reactions. Everything positive, negative, yin, yang. Everything is based on this understanding of the electron negatively charged goes to the center. The electron negatively charged goes to the carrier. OH, water, H2O. That minus charge happens when that electron goes to the oxygen. The element number eight, creator's number, creator's element for healing. That's how he got out. That's how he got out on the knee off the ground. He breathed the breath of life into Adam, prana, the breath of life. What is hemoglobin oxygenated? Hema, is metal, sacred geometric carrier of oxygen. So it's all about H2O. If you know enough about water, that is, if you know enough about how God works in you, then you are free. So the primary takeaways from this video is the sound frequencies, sophagios sound frequencies, the numbers that are encoded in our lives and our matrix that we live in. Everything is tied into one. This is the most important lesson that we can learn from all of the videos and all of the information that's happening around the world at any given moment is that everything is connected divinely through a thread. All you have to do is examine that thread closely and to truly look at the matrix all around us. So so water is the key because water is crystalline. We are crystalline beings having a crystalline experience. The crystalline water is very important because our consciousness is held by this water and that the solidified crystals are actually a product of water as well. Then there are other crystalline structures. The entire matrix is made of crystal and that can be deemed the flower of life or the tetragrammaton. What are you creating in this reality? What are you manifesting in your world right now? Welcome to the world. This is the wonderful world of whirling. We live in two spiraling vortices of energy with tiny vortices of energy whirling outwards in every direction from every object. It's just spiraling energies everywhere, reacting to all the sound frequencies of light all around. Well, that's it for this video. Subscribe, like, and share if you haven't already, and I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.